what's going on youtube welcome to the channel thanks for checking out the channel and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button where we're always dropping new toyota tacoma content all right guys let's just jump into it i'll make it a little bit smaller because we do have a long bed here so yeah you guys i'm back up here at wilsonville toyota up here in wilsonville oregon and i'm just kind of checking things out i've been seeing these trucks a lot you know we've been going around to different dealerships a couple different ones and just kind of seeing what's going on and trying to get a feel for these new trucks you know different configurations and things like that and uh how well they're selling and how fast they're selling well these ones they're moving you know i will say that these trucks are selling you know they're starting to get a lot of them and it's interesting to see kind of which ones are going first and how they're how's that how that's going if i could talk but yeah so i was just here just a couple days ago and they had you know they had a blue crush sport they had a really nice i think it might have been a sport or it was off-road either way it was a it was blue crush it was really nice they may have had a sport and an off-road but neither one of those trucks are here they also had a uh a off-road uh a long bed a six bed a six foot bed an off-road six foot bed and solar octane is what i'm trying to say and that's gone as well so and uh yeah they're going pretty fast so what's been um selling the slowest has kind of been these uh the sr5 so i'll take you guys over to those in a second but i'm kind of just focusing up on this truck right here so this is a six foot bed this is the off-road and this is a pretty good looking truck this is going to be in celestial silver and we'll just kind of just take a look around and see what you get for this price point now i do like these trucks a lot you know i do like the trucks i know it's kind of um being kind of hard to tell if i like them or not but i don't like the price point and i'm not really liking some of these configurations that we're seeing early on but uh they will change you know as toyota starts to put out more trucks and kind of what's been happening is people been grabbing the colors that they like and they've been trying to find uh the best options that work for them you know like all the options they want whether it be a you know a heated steering wheel or heated seats or cooled seats but uh yeah so let's just jump into a price because we've been here for about two minutes now this is an off-road and six foot bed and it's uh celestial silver pretty sure that's the color that it's going to be yep celestial silver and we'll see how my camera wants to work today it's one of those weird kind of undercast days so it's going to be forty six thousand dollars forty six three eighty five and it looks like the coolest options that they have was the 14 inch screen and then they also have the heated front seats and then you got the mud guards on here so we'll open this one up because it is open and we'll just kind of dive around and see what you're going to get for that forty six thousand dollars and you're also going to get 21 combined and 19 in the city and 23 on the highway and you're going to get an eight speed automatic here and i'll let you guys just kind of see some of those options there these are all your standard ones to the left and these are the ones that have been added at the port or from the factory all right now let's dive inside now you're going to see a cloth interior here and all these interiors are a little bit different sometimes i guess i need to check out the sport but sometimes they've got like the little different patterns on it so that's one thing that i'm kind of noticing so maybe maybe it's something along the lines i don't know because these are heated seats but no heated steering wheel and then here's all your dials here you're going to get the locking uh rear locker right there i do like the big screen so that's one of the options i would have to have in my truck is the big screen and you're not going to get dual, dual climate control in these trucks anymore so and no physical emergency brake you just got the little uh emergency brake that goes on automatically every time you park pretty much and it'll go off once you put it in gear and this has got the trd here on the side we got tacoma up here nice little cubby hole there no power seats and they give you the nice carpets it says Tacoma TRD and let's look at the back one. I'm curious to see what it says in the back. Now, this is interesting how they did the back. I wonder do they do the same thing with the mud ones because if you guys are familiar with the third gen, they have one big mat that goes across that little hump right there as well. So you're gonna get the new USB ports in the back if you can kind of see. Here's the back area here. You got your bed cleats right here that they got in the back seat for you. And they got the little button design here that once you fold this up, you can connect it up here. But yeah, six foot bed, no power sliding window, which was standard on the last ones. But I, I, I ain't gonna talk. And then here's the little TRD off-road here. I'm not too much of a fan of that right there. Um, but one thing that is different about from the last generation is this one just says TRD off-road. The other one said TRD off-road sport or four by four. So it had four by four, whether it was an off-road or sport. So now you're gonna get the extra badge in the back. I'll swing it around. What's gonna say four by four. So just right here, you wouldn't know that it's a four by four. You have to see it in the back. But uh, yeah, got the bed lights here. No power outlet in the back of this one. You have Tacoma up top here, which I do like. And then, wow, some of these ones say Tacoma in the back. 
but that one doesn't. So I'm curious to see why some of them have Tacoma in the back and then some of them don't. Interesting. So that's kind of why I wanted to kind of do a little bit more of a thorough video on one of these trucks here. So let's look at the wheels and tires here. So we got Trail Terrain TA BF Goodrich, good tire here. Um, let's see if they gave you, I don't see, you don't get a snow rating tire with this one, but they're gonna be, I'm trying to get a tire size for you guys, 265, I know is that what's, that's what it is typically. Oh my God, this is taking forever. 265, 70, 17, oh my God. That's gotta be the longest ever. So, Celestial Silver, you are gonna get those mud flaps there. And this is the first year that they have the uh, disc brakes in the back, no longer drums. And you're also gonna get quill springs in the back. And you're gonna get Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. So you're gonna have dynamic uh, cruise control and all that stuff. That's not the actual word for the cruise control. Which one is it? What is it called? Um, Yeah, dynamic radar cruise control lane depart and you get steering assist and lane assist and all that stuff as well i really do like the new headlights and i even like the grill i wasn't too much a fan of the stock grill on the tacoma just because of just that the logo the emblem right there was just so chrome and big on the other one the front end really looks nice it's either you love it or you hate it i love it and i like the integrated fog lights you have there So just other things that I'm noticing that you're not gonna get on this truck are like the integrated uh, turn signals to let people know that you're turning. So, you know, that's something that was standard basically on an off-road or a sport, but you are gonna get, uh, you know, lane alert or whatever that's called. <laughs> I'm just like, I've done so many of these videos and um, I don't know why I'm just kind of spacing things today, but you got the TRD shift knob and you got the big screen and I do like the start button that's red and this is going to be all digital, all digital dash here. And then there's your dials. You got your cruise, um, your crawl control, and your MTS, your multi-terrain select. You're not going to get a 360 camera with this truck. So it's not fully loaded. You get TRD, you got the nice Molly panels on the side. And all of the buttons up here, all the dials for the windows are all, you know, you push it one time and it'll go all the way down. Forgot what that's called. And you're gonna get a locking tailgate. Now, this is the only interesting thing, kind of like with this new design right here. You see how low this stuff hangs, that bar right there? Now, you guys, I'm not sure. It looks like some type of bar. I'm not sure, you know. I would almost say like a, a sway bar in the front, but that's not what that is. It's some type of bar, but I'm kind of concerned because it's an off-road, but you got a lot of stuff that kind of hangs down low. And I don't know how strong that that bar is and how much you could take if you just come down crashing on a rock. But uh yeah, the new truck looks good. It just it's a lot of options that it just doesn't have. Like you're not gonna get that sliding window. You're not gonna get the uh you are gonna get the blind spot indicator. So that's part of the Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, if you see that. So it'll let you know if there's a if you're trying to get over and there's a car in the other lane. But no rear sliding window. You know, they gave you, you got the heated seats on this one. They might as well just gave you a heated steering wheel with all this stuff. These are trucks, you know, it's an off-road package. They should have just hooked you up with the um, with the heated steering wheel. I don't know why it was such a big deal for Toyota to do that, but so just kind of swing you around a little bit more in this driver's side. So again, you get the, they should have even bothered with the, with the bolstering, with the electric bolstering button, but they did. I do like the carpets. You know, you are paying for these carpets. So if you want the all-weather ones, the rubber ones, these are cool for the summertime. But once you know, they're going to get dirty. So if, unless you plan on vacuuming and trying to keep them clean, you might as well invest in some nice rubber ones. But just kind of just take you around in here. I like them and they're here. And let's go over a price one last time before we get out of here on this one. But yeah, the colors are kind of going fast. That's for sure. The colors are going fast. So like I said, the oranges, you know, the solar octane. I'm over solar octane, but I know a lot of you guys really like it. I like it too, but if I was to get a fourth gen Tacoma, it definitely wouldn't be in that color. And this one's not blacked out. Swing you around just to the last one, little last part. You get the Tacoma on there, but this is a good looking truck. It's 
just wanted to show you the little back part back here the four by four and we'll end the video you're going to get the exhaust pipe it's going to be on your driver's side so there's that four by four that's how you always can tell but uh yeah that's going to do it guys have a good day and god bless peace